I was told one really rather poignant story of, of this chap had had lost his eyes, but he was determined to work out ways in which he could overcome this loss. And so he was determined not to have the messy front garden. So he'd worked out a way, he was completely blind, to uh, go to the shed, get out the lawnmower, to cut the lawn, and there were little things he could push up, and, and so he knew he'd come to the edge of the lawn, turn it round. And so he'd worked all this out, just amazing. And on one occasion, his wife came down and tapped him on the shoulder and said, it's 3 a.m. in the morning, you're waking up the neighbours. And we kind of smile at that, but, you know, when you're trying to gain control after this traumatic loss, you can do it in lots of ways if you're blind, but you can't if you've got no regulation of the clock. But the point I'm trying to make is that the eye is doing two things. It's regulating our vision, of course, but it's also regulating our time.